how to draw our solar system inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So first off, I'm starting up a new document that is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click OK. Then we need to do the sun. So zoom out, select the ellipse tool, go to the side of the canvas and find the middle right here. And then let's create a huge circle. So hold down the shift key and the alt key and draw a sun like this. Unselect the stroke, select the fill and give the sun a color you like. Now go to the layers panel and create a new layer for the background. If your layer panel isn't open, you can find it up in window and layers right here. So go down and create a new layer. Drag this layer below the sun, go to the rectangle tool and create a rectangle that fills out the whole canvas. And I forgot to select the new layer before drawing this rectangle. So to move this rectangle to the layer below, simply select the rectangle and go to this tiny square right here and move that square to the layer below. So now let's give this background a gradient. So click on this gradient right here. Now go to the gradient panel and instead of linear, select radial. And for the colors, I will select a light blue instead of this white color right here. And for the other color, simply use a random color Double click this slider right here, bring the first one to 0, 0 and 30. This will get you a very dark blue. Now go to the gradient tool and move this gradient slider so it starts right in the middle of the sun. Then drag this rod right here to fill out 3 quarters of the canvas. This will give you a nice gradient that tapers off the further away we get from the sun. When we are done with our background, go to the layer and call this background, then lock the background. You can call this layer sun as well and lock this one as well. Then create a new layer for the planets. So call this one planets as well. So for the planets, we will select the ellipse tool, hold down a shift key and draw a random circle. Select a solid color and now go to width and height. Make sure this link is clicked on and make this planet 500 pixels. So now this is the template for the size we want for the planets. So now we need to do 9 variations of planets. But for now we will keep them all 500 by 500 pixels and also the same colors. This will change later. So we will keep this circle as a template. So move it to the corner and hold down the Alt key to make a copy and drag this copy right here. Now select the ellipse tool and my style is really simple and clean. So I will be using circles and stripes to do the variations on the planets. So for the first planet, simply hold down the shift key and draw some circles on top of this planet. Now go to the selection tool, select all the shapes, go to the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key, delete these shapes right here. Now go to the selection tool and select the body of the planet. And for the body, simply select this default color right here. Now for these circles or craters, simply select all the craters. Select the same color. Go to the fill and double click and make these a lot darker. Then click OK. So now we have the first planet. So simply do the same thing again to do some more variations. So here I have 5 variations of the crater planets. So now let's do some variations with the stripes. So go up a little bit, select the template, make a copy and we will split this planet into 5 stripes. So select the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle. So now because we know the planet is 500 pixels tall, go to this link right here and turn it off. Then go to the height and make the height 100 pixels. Then go to the selection tool and place this rectangle just in top of the circle until it snaps. Then hold down the Alt key to duplicate and place the duplication just below this rectangle. And to repeat this step, simply click Ctrl D. Now select all the shapes, go to the shape builder tool, click on all these shapes you want. And then go to the selection tool, select these shapes right here and delete them. 
Now for the planet color, select the same orange for the top and the bottom part. Then for these two middle parts, select the brown color. And for the middle part, select the orange color again. Go to the fill and double click the fill. And choose a lighter color for this one. Something like this. And this planet we will simply just duplicate. So make two duplications of this planet. So now one of the planets in our solar system has a ring around it. The planet is Saturn and is very characteristic. Therefore we also need to include it in our drawing. So now we need to create the ring. So make another copy of this template right here. And while having the circle selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now with this copy, go to this anchor point right here and shrink this circle down until it reaches the middle of the underlying circle. Then click and hold the circle, hold down the shift key and move the circle to the middle of the underlying circle. Then hold down the alt key and expand this ring. Just a good amount. Then while having this ring selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now go to this anchor point right here, hold down the alt key and the shift key and shrink this ring in a little bit. Make sure this inner ring is still a bit wider than the planet. Then move the inner ring up. And just so you are able to see what I'm doing, I will choose a random color for this one. So here you can see the shape of the ring. Now select the planet, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. And for this copy, just expand it a little bit while holding down the shift key and the alt key. Something like this will be fine. Now select all the shapes and you will have something that looks like this. So go to the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to subtract and subtract all these shapes right here. Subtract these shapes right here, these right here, these small parts right here and this big part right here. Then release the alt key and fuse these shapes together. And here we have our ring. So now you can simply go to the selection tool, select one of these planets, right click the planet and click group. Then hold down the shift key and select the ring as well. So now both the ring and the planet is selected. Then simply release the shift key and click one time at the planet. This will turn our planet into our key object. Now go to this drop down right here and make sure align to key object is selected. Now simply click horizontal align center and vertical align center. Now simply select the ring, right click the ring, go to arrange and bring to front. Give the ring a white color and make the opacity only 50%. So now I see I have only made 8 planets, so I will simply make a copy of this one. And now we have made all our planets, but we still need to rotate them, scale them and give them different colors. So first we need to group all the planets. So select a planet, right click it and click group. Do this with all the planets. Now all the planets are grouped, so let's start off by rotating these striped planets. Simply rotate them a little bit. So now let's zoom out and try to place our planets into our solar system. So zoom out and move all the planets on a straight line. Then select all the planets, click vertical align center, then click this box right here. Make sure to select align to selection and choose horizontal distribute center. This will give you a good starting point for the sizes of the planets. Now shrink the planets to fit this space area right here. When the planet fits into the space area right here, go to this drop down right here, make sure align to artboard is selected and click vertical align center. Now zoom in. So now let's try to do some variations on the scales of the planets and also let's move them around so they are not all crater planets and all striped planets after each other. And also Earth is number three from the sun. So the planet you want to be Earth should be placed here as number three and Saturn is number 6 in our solar system, so place Saturn in number 6. Those are the most notable planets in our solar system, so if you want you can keep these in the correct places. So first I will move these around. So now I have moved the order of the planets, 
So now let's start scaling the planets. So the first planet is very small, so let's shrink this down. So to keep the planets in the middle, make sure to hold down the Alt key and the Shift key while shrinking them. The second planet is also kind of small. The third one is Earth and is a little bit bigger. The fourth one is very small. And the next two planets are very large. And then a couple of small planets after this. So now let's move the planets to get a little bit more even spacing. I think this looks great, but we don't want the planets to be all the same color. So to fix this, simply select the first planet, go to edit, go to edit colors, recolor artwork, go to this button right here that says edit, click on the chain right here. And now you can simply select some colors that you want. I will select some stone colors for the first planet and click OK. Now do this for all planets except number three, that is Earth. We are going to do this a different way. So now I've selected some colors for the planets and just in case you wonder, these are not the realistic colors for the planets. These are just colors that I made up. So for Earth, select Earth, right click the planet, ungroup the planet, and now you can select specific colors for the land and for the sea. Something like this looks fine. So I want to create a little bit of a shine around the sun. So let's go back to the sun layer and unlock it. Then select the sun, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. Then expand this ring a little bit. And for this circle, select an opacity that is only 50%. This gives a little bit of a shine around the sun. Now go back to the sun layer and lock it. And you can also lock the planet layer as well. Now select the planet layer, go down to create new layer and click this button. Call this layer stars. For this, select the ellipse tool Hold down the shift key and create a small circle. Then go to the top and click this link right here and make the width and the height of this circle only 15 pixels. Then choose a white color and go to this brush panel right here. Then go to this drop down right here and click new brush. Select a scatter brush and select OK. So now all these drop downs right here, select random. Then for sizing, Slide this slider down to 50%. Then for spacing, slide this down to 10%. Drag scatter down to minus 1000%. And rotation doesn't matter. Now select spacing up here and slide the slider all the way to the right. Do the same thing for the scatter. And now you can simply click OK. So now delete this circle right here. Select the brush tool. Select the brush you just made. And create some strokes of stars like this. Drag the star layer down below the sun. Then go to the selection tool, select all the stars and make the opacity only 50%. This will create some small details. If you want, you can make the stars smaller and bigger. That's up to you. Now lock the star layer, select the planet layer, create new layer. For this layer, we call it ring. So zoom out a little bit. Then select the ellipse tool and find the center of the sun, right here. Now hold down the Alt key and the Shift key and drag out until it reaches the middle of the first planet. Make the ring 2 pixels wide and make it white. Then go to the stroke menu right here, select dashed line and make the dash 30 points and the gap 30 points as well. This will look like this. Now select this ring, go to edit. Go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Then expand the ring until it reaches the middle of the second planet. And by the way, lower the opacity of the rings to 50%. So now simply keep copying the rings until it reaches all the planets. Now select the ring layer and drag it below the stars layer. 
Now if you want you can add galaxies as well. If you want to learn how to draw these, you can click on the video on the end card right now.